there, good evening. Well, welcome back. This is Drew, and it's a slight update to my last video on unemployment. Recently, an article came out in the Los Angeles Times and the New York Times, which essentially confirms what I put in my last video. Isn't that interesting? Of course, I'm not going to say that I had influence on the New York Times and the Los Angeles Times. But it's nice to see that some major press come out and finally just say the reality of what it is. So let's see what they said. So in the last video, I presented the three categories that they used to hide things. The official unemployed rate, the want a job now category, and the part time for economic reasons category, which added up to 16 million. 182,000 at a rate of 10.56% unemployed last year. Right, here's the business section of the LA Times. Came out the other day. Dramatic picture there, long lines of people looking for jobs. Unemployment hit 6.5%, a 14 year high. So here's the article, which says that the situation facing job seekers today is even worse when so called discouraged workers are factored in an 11.8% overall unemployment rate in October. The Labor Department estimated up from 11% in September. Officially, the unemployment rate counts only those who have lost employment and are actively looking for new work. It does not include those who have stopped trying to find work who are working part-time because they can't find a full-time job. And then they quote some dummy from the Economic Policy Institute on some BS excuse. All right, there we see a dramatic New York Times picture from the business section. 533,000 jobs, biggest drop since 1974. Remember those days, guys? The unemployment rate rose to 6.7%, up just two tenths of a percentage point from October, but up six tenths over the last three months. More than 42,000 men and women who had been working or were seeking work in October left the labor force in November. More significantly, the unemployment rate does not include those too discouraged to look for work any longer or those working fewer hours than they would like. Add those people to the roster of the unemployed and the rate hits a record 12.5% in November, up 1.5 percentage points since September. Hey, welcome back. Well, amazing, huh? Reality getting through the media. I don't know. Radical times, you know? I'm sure you've seen Obama has said that they need to spend some money on roads and bridges and so forth as a sort of stimulus package, and it's good. It's not often politicians actually talk about reality. But of course, people are saying the idiotic crap about pork bellies. Pork bill spending. It's stupid. Look, you gotta spend the stuff. You gotta fix these things. You know, they fall apart. Duh. Anyways, uh, it's bigger than that, though. It's much bigger than just roads and highways. The American Society of Engineers says we're gonna have to spend $1.7 trillion just to stabilize things. And that includes yeah, bridges, roads, uh, yeah, railroads, the dams, the lock system, water systems, the schools, the hospitals, and the VA. Just on basic stuff like that, $1.7 trillion just to stabilize things. And that doesn't mean improving them, and actually, uh, yeah, improving things like that. So, big, huh? Yes. So. So that's it. Have a good night. This is Drew. See you later.